Hi, it's Christina with the Sisyphean Journal. I'm here with a story I only just found out about. You can bet that if the roles were reversed, it would be the lead story on every network, above the fold, front page on every newspaper. A young man brutally assaulted two elderly men in Baltimore. Uh, both men had to be taken to the hospital. One of them is now blind in one eye. They were knocked unconscious. These were two elderly men who were outside of Planned Parenthood in Baltimore, leafleting, offering information to women who are going in. This young man was talking to a couple of escorts outside the clinic. The first elderly man was standing a little ways away by a planter. The young man started to walk away, and evidently the elderly man said something that uh, this fellow felt was, was worthy of an assault. He did a flying tackle, knocked the old man over a big planter, um, and when the man's friend, another elderly man, ran over to help him, this stalwart defender of reproductive rights knocked him to the ground, punched him, and kicked him in the face. Uh, this second man is blind in one eye now as a result of this assault. Um, there's a link below to the video. The video is very graphic. Um, and um, Baltimore Crime Stoppers, um, I'll have the link below to submit a tip. But I can guarantee if even an elderly pro-life man had done anything that be, could, could be constituted as assault against this healthy pro-choice man outside of Planned Parenthood. If he had so much as touched him, it'd be an assault, it'd be the lead story. But this man doing this to two old men, um, I'm going to read you a comment on the video posted by Baltimore Police that says, um, hell yeah, I'm very proud of the guy for defending the employees and patients those men in their silly t-shirts were harassing. I will gladly donate for this man's bond. Baltimore will always be a free city. We can't let our women be threatened like this. Again, handing out leaflets with information Planned Parenthood doesn't want the women to have is threatening. You know, and frankly... Um, I get the feeling that, um, this guy probably either is burying his guilt for one or more abortions, he just feels awful about it, or this guy just doesn't like the idea that if a woman talks to one of these men, she might decide to have her baby and then somebody just like him is going to get stuck paying child support. Um, so again, the video is below. The information about Crime Stoppers is below. Um, but I'm not holding my breath waiting for them to catch this guy. Uh, definitely he'll get bailed out by abortion supporters. Like I said, handing out information to women that Planned Parenthood doesn't want those women to have is, you know, worthy of putting you in the hospital and blinding you in one eye, according to this fellow.